Hey guys, Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. Today I'm going to open up a box of the 2008-2009 Series 2 from Upper Deck. It's a hobby box. It's dipped under 45 bucks. Series 1 is quite the uh, presentation of really uh, high-end rookies, uh, young guns such as Claude Giroux and, and Steve Stammer and Peter Angelo, Drew da Doughty. Unfortunately, Series 2 is thinner uh, on that count. You can get a Ben Bishop or a Corey Schneider or a Carl, Ar Carl Osner or a Justin Pogge or Kuhleman. Uh, but beyond that, you're sort of shiz out of luck. Um, in terms of Young Guns, one of four sets, six per box, hobby box. Uh, you can also get Superstar inserts, New Guard, Favorite Sons, Tales of the Cup, etc., etc. Uh, the memory Beal cards are cool because I believe there's two per box and one is a generic one But the other one is an upper deck rookie materials including people from the series one checklist So you could potentially get a stammer uh, Rookie materials. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there are some clear-cut rookies and, and so on But those are case hits you can also see of course the signature sensations uh, case hit and I see there are also some black parallels So that's that's what you get in this in this uh, Series 2 box from 2008-2009, but as I said, once they dip under 45 from the original 75 or 100, you know, why not uh, go through them, even if it's mostly commons. And hopefully you can hit a case hit or something. Uh, just cracked open the seal of disapproval. And let's see if we can punch this bad boy into submission. Uh, so this is what the box looks like. I'm sure it would have been a lot of fun when it first came out. Uh, nonetheless, uh, late to the party or not, let's let's get cracking. So we see a champs. So of course there were champs in 2008, 2009, 2009, uh, 10 uh, minis, I believe. Uh, the ones from 2015, 16 are beautiful cards, including the McDavid rookie, and those are not minis. Uh, although there might be a couple of mini inserts, I think. So let's let's get with this. So here's what the packs look like. And let's see if we are able to hit some decent young guns or inserts. Um, so the look of the cards, kind of silver, uh, almost cursive, uh, a little bit busy. Uh, not easy to see the the names in this on these cards, but nonetheless, not bad. Uh, I believe this is just... Uh, a promotion and there are victory inserts because of series 2 don't forget you always get the OPG MVP or victory earned inserts and certainly in the early days you got victory inserts and we got a Rob Blade, Blake and this would be an update card uh, in other words he probably got traded and they updated the card oh that's Andrew Raycroft pretending he's Patrick Wah and there's Duff, Dustin Bufflin when he was uh, a Goliath with Chicago and we have a cup there. So this is going to be another involved break given the amount of cards we're talking about here. Eight packs and um, eight cards per pack and 25, 24 packs of course. Another one of these and we have another victory and this is a victory rookie and we got the stammer. We got the stammer victory rookie. So that's what's so cool about it is you get your victory uh, updates um, and updated checklists so you can get your low-end rookies and to hit a stammer is sort of perfect uh, you know we're looking for dowdies and stammers etc roll off and here's another rookie and it's daryl poe i believe power poe it's mark recce I don't believe hit Young Guns yet. We'll see what the Young Guns design look like. They should look like an old school design. I believe they... I think I know what they look like because we've seen the Dowdy one, of course, and we've seen the Stammer one with the blue or purple, whatever. There's Alex Tongay. Another one of these. These are taking up a lot of room. And we have a victory update of Ty Conklin. And you notice it's 267, so it's a high-end checklist, the same would go for that one there. So quite a few inserts already. The Victory Update inserts are one of my favorites uh, because I sort of cherish the low-end uh, rookie cards and the fact that you can only get them in these boxes as far as I know unless they come in separate uh, packs. And so we have a, an insert here which is the New Guard and it's a Henrik Lundqvist. 
And here we have another rookie, and it's Jason Garrison. If you want to look at the back of these, pretty clean, typical, a uh, little bit plasticky, low-end victory card. Uh, easy to build the set out, which is the entire point of those. And it's interesting for OPG and victory how they tend to save the best players. It probably has to do with con contractual agreements save the best players for their OPG update as opposed to being in the base original checklist. There's a Cujo with the Leafs. We have our first Young Gun, and it is Jamie McGinn. That's actually not a terrible one. It's, it's actually fairly pretty with the uh, aqua marine vibe of our sharks. And we have another uh, victory update, and we got George LaRocca of the Habs because I always get uh, one or two Habs. And here's a Patrick Kane, and this would be a second year card of Patrick Kane, uh, given his 2008, his, his rookie, you can find his victory rookie card as well, actually, Patty Kane from 2007, 2008. Oh, weird, what is this? Spectacular saves insert, and it would be Chris Osgood flashing la mitaine, the glove. So that's cool. It's an interesting one. I love the goalie inserts. They're always some of my favorites. Loads of inserts in this already. You only picking in another victory update. Oh, this feels thick, doesn't it? Hard to tell. Put it aside just in case. Man, these are really, see how thick these, these are? And they're nothings. Bully Jokinen, victory update, loads of victory updates. So it really depends on the year. I believe the 2011-12 had MVP, OPG, and victory updates. I believe this probably only has victory updates. Uh, in the later years, they have mostly, if not entirely, uh, OPG updates in Series 2. And that's the whole thing about Series 2. The fun of Series 2 is the fact that they tend to provide you with the low-end updates and of premium players. Oh, and we got Peter Angelo as well. Cool. So this is really nice. I mean, thus far, this has been a really cool box. Happy to get the Peter Angelo, one of the best D-men of his era. Huh, we got Drew Doughty as well. Cool. I, we're hitting all the perfect victory guys. Amazing. I mean, what else do we need at this point? Close your roof? I, I could check the checklist to see who else is in there uh, super uh, quickly, if at all possible. So victory, uh, rookie series. The card they have on display here at uh, checklistcenter.com is Drew Doughty, in fact. So... He would probably, there's Mike, Michael Bodker for that matter, Blake Wheeler, uh, Ben Bishop. So there certainly are, uh, there's Luke Shen as well, if you're intrigued or in, interested in Luke Shen. And here we just, have, oh, Owen Nolan. That's nice. With the Wild. Is the arrow black? Probably the arrow black second year card as well, if you think about it now. TJ Oshie is another one we'd be looking for. Oh, Young Gun, Young Gun alert. And our Young Gun is Andrew Ebbett. Andrew Ebbett. A little bit lackluster um, Young Gun checklist, so there's not much we can do about that. Uh, but we did get Andrew Raycroft. Isn't that exciting? A low end card of Andrew Raycroft. You're thinking all Andrew Raycroft cards are low end. Oh, another young gun, and it's Chris Stewart. Okay, that one's not bad. So we have three of our six young guns at this point. Looking for there goes the scissors. Uh, Chris Porter. Yeah, we would be looking for the Ben Bishop of course, not the young gun, essentially, more or less. Kilkula, Frolov. And here we have another spectacular saves, and it's Nabokov. A little bit bizarre the way they cut it off at the top where the border 
is only at the bottom. Oh, Colton Gillies. Man, so many of these victory updates, it's awesome. There's Matthew Schneider of uh, Hampstead, Quebec, I think, when he was living in Montreal. Of course, an ex-Hab. He was a very, oh, look, look at this. This is actually a really nice OV. You know, their photography here is not as good as it is now, uh, but still for some of the superstars, they tend to, ensure that the photography is top-notch. Oh, I have, I have an insert here, I'll keep it. Let's see. It looked to be a hit of some former fashion. Oh, look at this, Tales of the Cup. And this one is of Dougie Waite. Dougie Waite with a cup with Carolina. Okay, another one for the insert batch. And we have a Brian Rolston base rookie update. That probably put the skill stick too, maybe, I don't know. So swimming in cards here, a little bit messy. Oh, another young gun, and it's Andreas Newell. Noel? Andreas Noel. Look at the corner, it's a bit, it's a little bit touched, which is not uncommon for old school packs from, uh, oh, there's another one, Blake Wheeler, that's cool. So at least our victories are all good stuff. There's nothing uh, underwhelming about our victories. Another Cujo, uh, there seems to have been duplicates. Oh, we got Varlamov. That's actually one of the best ones we can get. Cool. That's great. So we got the Varlamov. Basically, there's three good goaltenders in this batch. The Schneider, the Varlamov, uh, and, the Sh and, and the Schneider. I'm I'm, uh, Bishop, I meant, yeah. Marion Hossa, Pe Petty Kane. Really, loads of duplicates for a hobby boss. Kind of bizarre. Wow, this feels super thick, too. This feels thick. That would be Nick Boynton. Another victory rookie, and we got Michael Potker, cool. I believe he's presently on your San Jose Sharks, unless I'm gravely mistaken, unless he got traded in the off season. And we got a couple of packs that put aside to get some thicker, so we shall see about those. I think we're still missing one. Uh, oh, cool. So we got an Anse Kopitar card, new guard card. Easy for me to say. And we've got this Brandon Morrison. So that would be everything in the box. So I put some cards aside because I thought they felt a bit thicker. But 2008, 2009, and they don't seem to have these big, massive dummies. So here I got another. So we'll open up this one. I think we're still missing one young gun. Oh, and here it is. And it's Justin Pogey. Okay, cool. That's cool. It's all right. It's one of the better ones, believe it or not, if you can imagine that. Uh, nice, always nice to get a leaf. And then I got Victor Tikhanov, which is, I don't, it wasn't there the old school Russian co coach called Victor Tikhanov? I wonder if he's related. Does it say anything on it? Moscow grew up. Uh, it says when he was drafted is what it says. Oh, there's Alexei Kovalev and is uh, donning his Habs jersey. He was fantastic back in the day. Uh, <clears throat> just a couple of packs. This one feels super thick. I can only imagine what this one's saying. Yeah, this one has something. Okay. So guaranteed, uh, we're guaranteed two materials cards, one every 12 packs. So let's see what we got. 
Oh wow, this, this is something weird. What is this? Feels, feels, I don't know, looks different. Okay, so let's go through them. So I got, actually, wow, I got a James Neal rookie update for victory. Okay. I think that's Allison, is it not? Yeah. Why does this one look different? Is this a parallel? There might actually be some parallels as I think about it now. I'm not really sure. Oh no, it's just, it just the boards on the bottom. I think there were black parallels. So here's a checklist, an OV checklist. Which is just a base checklist. Then I have a Mark Savard. Then I have a Yuri Letnin. And then I have this thing. Oh, wow, no way. Okay, wait a second. I'm just gonna cover this up. No way, what is this? It's a die cut. What is this? Oh, wow, I've never seen this before. Crazy, it's a Steve Mason die cut rookie. It's a die cut acetate rookie, numbered to 100. I've never seen this before. Weird. So what is this called? It's clear cut rookies. I've never seen the acetate version of that. In fact, I, I never get these clear cuts. So let's just see clear cut rookies. Okay, so they're numbered to 100. There's 42 in the checklist. Thank God we got someone half decent. We could have gotten some, a nobody. Uh, crazy. So they're just numbered to 100, and I don't know what the odds are. I guess the odds are defined by the fact that there's only 100 of them. So cool. That is, that is, that is awesome. Is there any way we can see here what, where the clear-cut rookies are? Clear-cut rookies, one of 200. So it's a case hit. Essentially, it's a case hit. Cool. Okay. Well, that's bizarre. And a and beyond that, believe it or not, there was this, which was another hit, whatever this might be. And it's just a jersey card. And it is Brad Stewart. Okay, well, that's sort of not the best one, but nonetheless, I'm not complaining after the clear cut. Uh, what else? We have another one. Let's just see what we have here. Wait, we have two things here. This is really crazy. We're only supposed to get one, one uh, every 12 materials. We're supposed to get, I think we're only supposed to get one, but let's, let's see. Oh, I definitely have something here. So let's see. Helios? Sorry, this video is taking forever. This is why I do just recaps at the end, or entire videos that are recaps. Okay, let's see what it is. It's an Upper Deck Rookies, and it is of Lori Korpikoski. Okay, so we got an Upper Deck Rookies of Lori Kor Korpikoski, but we, I think we have one more thing, which is kind of bizarre. I thought we we're only supposed to get one of those material rookies, but we seem to have another one. I have no idea what this is. So here is another one of these. Zednik, Hal Gill, and we do ha have a rookie here. And it is, whoa, number to 30. I've never seen anything in Upper Deck Series 2, number to 35. So this is kind of bizarre. We've got a Sean Matthias. Well, this is another insert. Patch. We have a Sean Matthias patch. I've never seen this before. And it's number to it's number to fifteen. I have never seen a patch hit inside a box of series two. Number to fifteen. How crazy is that? This is beyond a case hit. Now I don't even know what these bad boys are. So let's just see if we can find this one as well. Rookie. Rookie Gold Parallel, like, is that what it is? I'm not really sure what this is. Clear Cut Rookies. 
Number to 15, upper deck game patch number to 15. Right there, if you can see it. Okay. Wow. So this was a, a really eventful box. And maybe this is the benefit of dropping the extra dollars on the uh, hobby boxes over the retail boxes. Uh, I got a really nice set of cards here. Uh, okay. So let's do a quick recap. This was a little bit... Um, almost too involved to uh, keep track of everything. Let's see if I can sort of make some room here. Okay, guys. So in, in terms of base, you can see the design per usual. Uh, an incredible amount of base. So let's go through everything that we got, uh, if we can, if it's if at all possible. So in terms of just kind of basic generic inserts, I can find them. Uh, we got, so these are one every four. Uh, I got a Tales of the Cup. I got a Favorite Sons. I got a Spectacular Saves. Another one. Uh, Nancy Kopitar and a Henrik Lundqvist, uh, The New Guard. So these are just sort of generic base, not base, they're just generic subset inserts. Uh, but not bad nonetheless. In terms of, and I, I might have had parallels in here that I may have missed, unfortunately, just because. Uh, in terms of victory update cards, uh, here are the victory update cards. So these are just the base update cards of this low end old school victory product. I do notice here that the Owen Nolan would happen to be a, par a gold parallel. So I did get one gold parallel, but I did get one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the base generic uh, victory updates um, with the one gold parallel, including George LaRock of the Montreal Canadiens. In terms of our young guns, it's a really bad young gun crop, unfortunately, but I did get uh, six of them per usual, including the Chris Stewart, uh, Andrew Bennett. I got the Jake, uh, the Jamie McGinn, which isn't a bad one. I actually got Justin Pogge's rookie card, as well as uh, Varlamov's. So those are our six. Uh, where I really did well was with regard to the victory rookies. Um, so here they are. Uh, I got Bisa. I got James Neal's rookie card in victory. I got Tikhanov's. I got Michael Bodker's. I got Blake Wheeler's. I got Colton Gillies, I got Chris Porter, but I did get Alex P Peter Angelo, I did hit Jamie Garrison, I did hit uh, Daryl Poey or Pow. I got the Stammer. So I did, in fact, hit the Victory Stamp, and I did get the Drew Doughty, and the Drew Doughty actually happens to be the Gold Parallel. So I got a Gold Parallel. So I hit uh, three of the sort of big four. I guess the only one that I'm sort of missing there was probably Giroux. I believe he would have been in here as well, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, and then in terms of our other cards, I got in terms of materials, well, let's firstly, I got this incredible hit. Uh, I've never gotten a clear cut before, but I did get this clear cut, die cut of Steve Mason. Um, and it's numbered to 100. So this is a case hit. Uh, and it's an unbelievable card. I've never seen anything like this. So that's a, that's a spectacular hit to get. Uh, and Steve Mason's actually not a terrible one to get. I mean, of course, you prefer a stammer. Uh, in terms of the game jerseys, I did get a Brad Stewart. And then I got a rookie materials of Lori Korpakowski. So that's nice to get. And then finally, the hit of the box. This is a real case hit plus one. I got a Sean Mathias. Um, and it is a patch. I'd, I've never gotten a patch in a box of Upper Deck uh, Series 2. And it's a pretty spectacular patch. And it's numbered to 15. So this is, this, is really, um, this is really quite the hit. It's actually a beautiful card. I'm not saying it's worth that much. Uh, but I'm pretty stoked about these hits. They're actually really nice. So that's what you get. This was a 40, 40, 45, I think it was about $40 box of Series 2 from 2008-2009. I happen to be Fulton Cards Lavender right from Brooklyn, New York.